Corey, the naughty Ferrari. Welcome to Grandma's Bedtime Stories. Listen and enjoy while I take you to a wonderful and magical place where unicorns and enchanting creatures exist. Please like and subscribe for more. Once upon a time, in a bustling city full of tall skyscrapers and winding streets, there lived a little red Ferrari named Cory. Cory wasn't like the other cars in the city. He was special. Not only was he fast and sleek, but he also had a mischievous twinkle in his headlights that often got him into trouble. Cory lived in a cozy garage with his owner, Mr. Thompson. Mr. Thompson was a kind old man who loved Cory dearly, but he often found himself exasperated by Cory's antics. One sunny morning, as the city came to life with the sound of car engines revving and horns honking, Cory felt a burst of energy coursing through his sleek body. He couldn't resist the urge to zoom around the city streets, showing off his speed to anyone who would watch. Be careful, Cory, Mr. Thompson called out as Cory sped out of the garage. But Cory was too excited to listen. He zipped through the streets, weaving in and out of traffic with ease. He raced past the other cars, leaving them in a blur of red. As Cory sped down the road, he spotted a group of children playing in a nearby park. With a mischievous grin, Cory revved his engine and zoomed past them, sending a gust of wind through their hair. Wow, did you see that? One of the children exclaimed, eyes wide with amazement. But Cory didn't stop to bask in the admiration. He was too busy racing ahead, eager to explore more of the city. Cory's adventures took him to all corners of the city, from the bustling downtown to the quiet suburbs. Everywhere he went, he left a trail of astonished onlookers in his wake. But despite the thrill of his high-speed escapades, Cory couldn't shake the feeling of guilt nagging at the back of his mind. As the sun began to set, Cory found himself in a quiet neighborhood on the outskirts of the city. The streets were lined with cozy houses and leafy trees, and the air was filled with the sound of birds chirping. Feeling a sudden pang of homesickness, Cory slowed down and glanced around. It was then that he noticed a little girl standing on the sidewalk, tears streaming down her cheeks. Curious, Cory rolled up beside her and gently revved his engine. What's wrong, little one? he asked, his voice soft and comforting. The little girl looked up, her eyes widening in surprise. My kitten is stuck in that tree, she sniffled pointing to a tall oak tree nearby. I can't reach her, and I don't know what to do. Cory's heart went out to the little girl and her stranded kitten. Without a second thought, he sprang into action. With a powerful roar, he revved his engine and raced toward the tree. Using all of his speed and agility, Cory maneuvered around the tree trunk creating a whirlwind of air that rustled the leaves and branches. In a matter of seconds, he reached the top of the tree and gently scooped up the frightened kitten in his sleek red body. With the kitten safely in his care, Cory descended from the tree and returned to the sidewalk where the little girl was waiting with open arms. Oh, thank you, Cory, she exclaimed hugging the kitten tightly. You're my hero. Cory felt a swell of pride as he watched the joy spread across the little girl's face. In that moment, he realized that being fast and flashy was fun, but nothing compared to the feeling of helping others in need. With a newfound sense of purpose, Cory bid farewell to the little girl and her kitten and made his way back home to Mr. Thompson's garage. As he settled down for the night, Cory reflected on his day's adventures. 
He may have been a naughty Ferrari at times, but he had also discovered the true meaning of kindness and compassion. From that day forward, Corey vowed to use his speed and strength to make the world a better place, one good deed at a time. And though he may still be a little mischievous at heart, he would always be remembered as Corey, the kind-hearted Ferrari, the hero of the city streets. <laughs>